Well, welcome along to the old classic car channel and in this video we're looking back at photos of Cheshire runs from years gone by and we begin with a selection of photos from 2004 and here we've got a Scammel, a Comma, a lovely old Albion tanker and an Albion flat. Another four here, HFX429, that's an AC Mammoth Major, probably my pick of this particular bunch, although the Albion fuel lorry below it is particularly nice, as is the Leyland KYF317, an octopus from 1949. Four more here, we've got Albion, an Austin A35 van, Bedford TK Arctic, and they love the old 1932 Bedford. Another TK at the top left there, the Super Comet Leyland to the top right. A rare Dodge, lower left and to the bottom right, a Ford Model AA truck. Bedford to the top left, We've got a Leyland on its right, ARF trucks, bottom left, and a very nice Arctic. Is that an Albion or a Leyland? There's that Bedford TK at the top left, alongside that a Comma, another TK below that, and a Scammel to the lower right corner. Fantastic Albion cement mixer to the top left, and that's joined by an ERF, a Scammel, and an O series Bedford. J type Bedford top left, the Foden to the top right is the one that dragged my Dodge back from Donington back in 1995. There's also an AEC and a Sentinel to the bottom right. And the four interesting vehicles here we've got a Moggy van to the lower left, an ERF. To the lower right, we'll have more photos of that in subsequent years coming up later in this video. The Thames Trader to the top left, first of several of those that will feature in this particular video, and an Atkinson, an Albion, and a fire truck. The photos from subsequent years were larger than these particular pictures, so don't worry. There's a Scammel Pioneer, a Mercedes, Foden recovery truck, and another Foden alongside it, with a trailer on the back. And that's the photos for 2004. Well, I've got larger scale photos now from 2005 and we begin with this wonderful, wonderful Austin tanker in the livery of Regent Fuels, EOJ903 from 1939. Probably my favourite in this whole collection in fact. And here we've got a Foden JRF446 that was registered in September of 1941. It's seen here arriving at the midway stop on the Cheshire Run in 2005. Cardiff Ales liveried Leyland Steer here, KB0622 from 1954. DMW 939, a fantastic ERF. This one was registered and put on the road in 1946. If you recognise any of these vehicles or know where they are now, please pop a note into the comments. Here we've got a Bedford TK from 1971 to 72 ish. A classic lorry here from ERF 968HTU, that's a Manchester registration. This is an ERF KV from 1959, very original looking sign writing on there. Kind of carrying on with these classic lorries, we've got the Cheshire Lass, a Scammel, uh, that's a 1956 Scammel Highwayman. Very smart half ton van here, 1972-73 Austin or Morris. The Sentinel WTD353. Sentinel perhaps better known for their steam vehicles, but they did dabble with diesel powered lorries. Very small door. And the Bedford OCE286H, that's a Bedford KM. Just a tractor unit designed to take an articulated trailer. Interesting duo here, we've got a mighty Bedford in the foreground, and that's dragging a Foden tractor unit. Comma, two-stroke diesel here, UAN548. Very smart, they make a fantastic sound, they do. And another Roots Diesel, comma, e-registration, so this one dates to about 1967. E-registration ran from January to July of 1967 only. And here we've got JOC273N, that's an AEC Mandita. The lovely old lorries here, NVT558, that's a 1950 ERF54G, 
the Leyland Octopus alongside it, which we've already seen, KYF317. Next up in this classic lorry collection, we've got an Albion, RBK634J, that's an Albion Chieftain, J Reg, that'll be 1970 or thereabouts. The Ford D series here from 1967. Here's that ERF again, FTD641. This appeared at many Cheshire runs. This particular lorry is an ERF C15 from 1943. What a beauty that is. And here we have a Leyland WBM266. That's a Leyland Comet breakdown recovery vehicle. And I love the livery on this particular truck. This is an ERF MBB222. That's an ERF C16 from 1947. Subsequently repainted, I'm sure I've seen that in a different livery. Same with this ERF SJL660. That's an ERF KV from 1961. Mighty Scammel here, M registration. So that's 1973 to 74, twin steer. Classics here, an AEC, I think, on the left, and a Bedford J series 181 MAO. Got a rare truck. CUH530. That's a lovely old Bedford OST from 1946. The old O series range of Bedfords. An Albion here. Uh, this looks like a tipper truck. We see this later with a load on board. That one's from 1971. Another good old Bedford TK, this is a fairly late one from 1979. Someone asked for photos of Thames Trader, so here's another one, AAS 944, that's from 1962. Actually, this particular Cheshire run set of photos dates to 2005. Did you take part in this particular run? Here we've got an AEC, that's 2590NX. Another one of those Scammels, XUY538M, so that dates it to about 1973. Is that lorry still on the road? I haven't seen that for a while. JSU885, that's a 1951 Bedford K30, drop side body. Here's KYF317 again, the 1949 Leyland Octopus. This was arriving. That's the halfway halt at the midway truck stop. Bedford S type van here, LY0782. This one uh, appears also in several years in this particular collection of photographs. Used to be a regular site, but I haven't seen it for a little while. We've got a Foden diesel recovery truck here, GSJ426. Continuing with these classic lorries, we've got another Foden, Sandbatch's finest, MVS582, that's a Foden OG from 1954. Really smartly turned out example that is. And a Thornycroft NYN790, that's a Thornycroft C12 truck from 1953. Nicely sheeted up load on it, twin steer. YWH974, that's another O-series Bedford, this one from 1952. Very smart looking trucks. I do like these in the K-Series Austins. Absolutely fantastic. 6228E is a Foden S20 from 1959. And rounding out this collection of photos of the Cheshire Run for 2005, we've got this wonderful little Albion in the livery of R Tinker Limited. And that rounds out the 2005 photographs. 2006 are coming up next. OK, next up a few photos of the Cheshire Run in 2006 and we begin with 4248KF, that's a Foden S21. Good old classic Moggy van here, 6 or 800 weight, this one dates to 1965, going off the registration number, that's a North Wales registration, JC. There's that two-stroke comma diesel again, NUY142E from 1967. Glorious looking vehicle in the livery of a company over in Wales. 
Atkinson, WMP63, uh, this is an L1856 eight wheeler flatbed. It was good to see an Atkinson around, you don't see them quite as often. And here's Mr. Tinker's lovely little Albion again, CRS280, this is an AZ5N Albion from 1947. What's that truck in the background? And an ERF now, a G registration truck from 1968 with a tractor on the back. So this particular set of photos is all 2006. Great combination there, we've got an Atkinson and an AEC on the back. Very smart pair indeed. An SG869, this is a lovely little Albion Nimbus. This was a prototype in fact. This appeared at several Cheshire runs. But I haven't seen it for a little while, maybe it's moved out of the area. If you, can, if you know, let me know. KYF317, we've seen this one before, this is the 1949 Leyland Act Octopus. Glorious old lorry this is. Another pair here, we've got a Leyland and an AEC on the back of it. Similarly aged trout Spitfire just sneaking in on the right hand side of the photograph. Chunk a little chap here, this is 1952 Bedford O series, LAB791. Really smartly turned out Sentinel here, VTD895. That's a DV4 slash 4 flatbed uh, from 1955. Leyland Beaver next, Arctic. Very smart indeed, in the livery of Smiths of Eccles, 665 MTB. That's a 1959 example. Bit of black and white here, British Road Services, the Thornycroft and the Leyland alongside it. A great pairing. Another Scammell, TAN 509M, 1973. Is that one still around? I haven't seen that for a while. Nor this one, a Volvo PWC 502R. That one's from 1976. Another Foden here in the livery of JA Ford of Chapel on the Frith Fuel Oil Distributor. that little FTD641, the ERF from 1943, parked alongside quite a large old DAF XF. Another Scammell tanker, this one was uh, later repainted the rear end in the livery of Shell and BP fuels I believe, but here it's pre-repaint, J Reg, so 1970 or thereabouts. Then we've got another Bedford in the livery of Walsh Transport of Bolton Limited. Great little truck, quite a short one. RJ6071, uh, that's an Albion KL127 of 1936. Always good to see the pre-war lorries at these events. Uh, not all that commonly spotted nowadays. BDV252C, that's a 1965 Bristol bus. You don't see many PSVs on the Cheshire run now either. It's a great setup. This is a Leyland Hippo LKA369. This was built in 1950. On the back is a V8 Ford pickup truck of the 1930s. 1985, a Ford Transcontinental tractor unit here. Again, not one I've seen since, I don't think. A classic bus, time for that. It's an AEC Routemaster 201 UXJ. Beautifully turned out ERF here with a livestock body on it, N registration. So that, that series ran from August 74 to July of 1975. In the army now, got a Scammell Pioneer. There's that Sentinel alongside it again. Lovely little truck. And a Scania here from the early 1980s. This one will appear later in the collection of photographs at a subsequent event. A pair of mighty ERFs here, the M registration example from 1973, towing an earlier one on its trailer. A side view of an AEC livestock truck now, and a livery of a gentleman from Baston Hill in Shropshire. This one appears later on as well. 
Foden here from 1972-73. Very smart indeed. And that is the final photo in the 2006 photo collection. Coming up, 2007. OK, let's have a look at the Cheshire run for classic lorries in 2007. Then we begin with SH4747. That's an Albion ML55 of 1935. A very bonny little truck indeed. I do like that. GEH554. Uh, Personia of Winsford, 1938 ERF, flatbed. Here's JRF446 again, we've seen this one before, this is 1941 Foden. Austin Champ, representing the military. If you took part in any of the older Cheshire runs that are featured here, please say hello in the comments. There's that Leyland Hippo from 1950 again, and quite a rare Scania behind. We'll get a better look at that uh, in a short while. Another ERF bombing along the A41 here. I guess it's a 1970s model. There's a handy little vehicle, YKW870, that's an Austin 152 Omnivan from 1962. Where's that now? I wonder. Here's that ARF on the trailer, again, the livery of Jay Chadwick of Sandbach. Of course, Sandbach being the home of ERF and Foden back in the day, as seen here outside the Midway Cafe. There's that Leyland Steer again, the twin steer. This again used to appear at many local events, but not so much lately. I haven't seen this one around. There's ED124. This is a Foden STG5 from 1946. A few slightly later lorries in the background there. And an Austin 104 based van of the early 1930s. There's FTD641 again, that 1943 ERF dropside lorry. What a beauty that is. And there's an ERF combo again. The M registration lorry towing the earlier one on its trailer. This beauty also used to appear at many, many local events, 773 BRE, that's a Foden OG46 recovery of 1954. Very much preserved in oily rag condition. Then we've got a Guy Big J from 1970. It's a very sizeable living van body on the back of that one. A Ford D-Series recovery truck, this one still pops up at local runs from time to time. J registrations, so that makes it 1970-ish. 7071. The Bedford Green Goddess PGW163. There's a Leyland Hippo to the side, and just peeking into shot is a BMC Mastiff. We'll see that again later. And here's a V registration ERF from 1979. Continuing with these classic lorries, we've got this Foden 6228E seen this one before, this is a Foden S20 of 1959. This chunky little fellow is BSV204, that's an Atkinson tractor unit built in 1953, powered by the Gardner diesel engine. Another Thames Trader, this one from 1965. There's that Thornycroft again in the livery of British Road Services, BRS, NYN790. That's the Thornycroft C12 from 1953, and there's the Leyland WBM266. ADH779L, that's an AEC Mandator of 1972. In the background is a Foden S21. One of the older vehicles in this particular set of photographs, LG9884, that's that 1932 Bedford we saw back in 2004. There's Mr Tinker's Albion again. Now 
you'll get bored of seeing that, from 1947. YMA 765J, that's what, about 1970-71, the Foden, passing the 1950 Leyland Hippo. A glorious little Morris commercial there from the early to mid-1930s. WMP 63, the Atkinson that we've seen before. Really nice, that is. GSK 821, a 1952 AEC Mammoth Major. Those AECs are fantastic looking lorries, I think. Really imposing. Here's that Scania we saw before, but now with a trailer on it. MDG 105V from about 1979. Scania V8. MVS 582, we've seen in previous years. That's a nice Foden from Mr. Lunt of Newcastle Road in Nantwich. BWP 323, that's a Leyland Cub from 1938. Like I say, it was good to see a pre-war lorry out and about. Where is it now, I wonder? Sticking with pre-war trucks for a minute, there's a Ford Model AA from about 1929, 1930 or thereabouts. Non-factory cab. 339 DOA, that's a 1961 Bristol, a Bristol HA6L. There's the BMC Mastiff we caught a glimpse of before, that's a G registration truck and that's from August to July of 69, August 68, July 69 that series ran for. And there's a better look at that Scania, the L registration Scania uh, that we saw earlier, parked up behind the Hippo. We've got a comma Arctic here, 8123VT. That's a TS3 powered comma from 1964. TS3 being the two stroke diesel engine. Another Austin A35 van here, 801XUB. Another Albion there, F registration from 1967. And another look at that fantastic Bedford S-Type LYO782. Purveyors of handmade basketware and cane products. A close up now at that Thornycroft, the diesel Thornycroft NYN790 from 1953, C12. And a Guy Vixen DBN113, that's a Guy Vixen flat from 1947. To Bedford's again, YWH974, that's the O series from 1952, drop side body. Trio of great lorries here, we've got the Bristol, the Atkinson and the Thornycroft. BRS either side of Richardson's Atkinson in the middle there. Another AEC, this time a Mercury, RGC239, that's a 1955 AEC Mercury. Classic British lorry there. And the classic Brit here is an Albion Claymore FGV 229D from 1966. Very distinct in the front, no visible radiator. Unlike YRB 914, this is a Foden S18 from 1955. Very smart in the livery of Sam Longson Limited of Chapel on the Frith. There's the Albion that we saw before, KAL 657K, this time with a load in the back. The AEC Mandator here, training vehicle it says on the front. There's Mr. Plod, a Scammel, ex fairground vehicle. I'd say all this particular, all the vehicles in this particular set date to the nine, uh, 2006 Cheshire run. As does this Sedan Diesel here, TCH615L from 1972. The Foden, this is a P-Reg example from 1975. 
very comfortable way of doing a classic lorry run. Here's another one that used to pop up at local shows quite regularly. This is a Leyland Comet 8218KC. Looks like a standard Ford's and tractor in the back. GJC932, that's a Welsh registered Austin FC of 1959. Fantastic little Albion here, VKF124, that's an Albion Chieftain from 1956. Interesting pair here, we've got a Foden, H-Reg Foden, and a Leyland on the back. A Leyland Lynx T registration, 1978. We'll have a look at that later, here it is again, MNP196T, a Leyland Lynx. So where's that now? Like I say, if you can shed any more light on where these vehicles are now, please pop a note in the comments and say hello. Maybe you own one of these. Here's 303DLW, the AEC Livestock Lorry. The K registration bed for TK that we saw on one of the earlier Cheshire runs. Still got a few more classic lorries to go, so don't panic yet. And there's an overall view of the parking area at the 2006 Cheshire Run. There's RBK 634J again, we've seen this one before, an Albion Chieftain in the livery of Jay Leach & Co of Crew. ODK 281, a really nicely turned out Albion there. Chunk a little Foden here, Elredge from 1972 or thereabouts. And rounding out this look back at earlier Cheshire runs, we've got 4248 KF, a Foden S21 tractor unit. And that is the final look at older Cheshire runs. If you'd like me to dig out more old photos of Cheshire runs in years gone by, please let me know in the comment section. Um, plenty more videos about classic and vintage lorries elsewhere on the channel, so please take a look around. I'll include a few links here now. And thanks very much for watching, and more videos along very, very soon. Bye for now.